So you say you want to be a cartoonist. Well, there are a lot of things you need to know about being a cartoonist. And if you follow these simple steps, by tomorrow, you can actually be a better cartoonist. Oh, and by the way, I would really appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for me. Okay, so rule number one is actually right here on the screen written down for you. That's right, it's right here. Like anything else that you do, you have to practice at it. You must practice your craft every single day. The next tip relates to money saving. If you're gonna be drawing every day, get yourself some tracing paper. This will save you a lot of anguish because when you draw, you do not want to smear your work. You can find it anywhere. This is what it looks like. So here I am drawing a merman and it's already sketched, I'm inking it. Oh no, oh no! Look what's happened here, I can't fix this. Here we have a similar drawing, but now I have tracing paper under my hand. So as I'm inking, look, I'm going over a piece where I just inked, but I can't smear it. Good. Don't get lazy and not use tracing paper and smear your work. Do use tracing paper to protect it. Another tip related to the tracing paper, if you're right-handed, and I know I've said this before, always work from the left to the right, because if you start inking on the right and move this way, you're smearing over your own work. I do it a lot, but I really try to avoid it. All right, beautiful people. I know we all wanna look gorgeous all the time, but nail polish is kind of the nemesis to an illustrator. If you have to wear it, make sure you use a brush, but even then, you know, your hands can stray and you're gonna get streaks, so be careful. Erase, 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 erase on this beautiful piece of work. Here we go, brush, 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 oh no! Don't use standard nail polish if you plan on doing any erasing. It can ruin your work. Do avoid regular nail polish, or at the very least, use a brush to sweep away your eraser bits. This next segment is on proportion, which is so important for your characters. We're going to go over this. A young friend of mine loaned this to me so I could help illustrate what's going on here with the big head, the tiny hands, and this very small, tiny little bit of legs connected. Let's make sure we don't make this mistake ourselves. Don't ignore proportion. Make sure that your hands, your feet, and your legs are the proper size in proportion to your head. Sorry you had to see that. But anyway, I wanted to show you that expressions are so important. So this next segment is on making sure you're including good expressions on your characters. Eyes alone can show so much. So let's look at some of these. Here's a quick cheat sheet for you. Basic surprise. Worry, see how it's curved in there? Anger, it's slanted at the, at the top and middle. A little sleepy, super surprised. You wanna make the pupils even smaller. Now this is just kind of, what's going on over there? A little curious. Yeah, this is somebody who's just looking up. And this is, you know, if you wanna show someone winking, you do a little squiggly line and then the other eye. A lot of young illustrators will draw an interesting thing happening on the page but then ruin it with a very bland face that doesn't reflect what's happening. Conversely, we can draw this face showing surprise, worry, anguish, whatever we wanna do. So let's see how this illustration looks when we change the face. sure you accentuate your illustration with a face that matches the action. How many times have you gone into your favorite sketchbook, started a great illustration, but you started it a little bit to the left, and then your character got squeezed off the page? 
Don't do that, that's avoidable and here's how. Don't be afraid to lightly mark your page so you know where your out of bound areas are and you can stay centered. When you rush or get anxious and start anywhere on page, you could find yourself running off the page. Don't be afraid to mark where you need to be to stay in bounds. I hope these tips helped. Don't forget to write them down and use them as a checklist when you draw next time. Mm -hmm.